Have you ever wondered if it's possible to play the same sound through both your computer's speakers and a pair of headphones? What about playing two different audio streams for your headphones and speakers at the same time? Both of these scenarios are possible in Windows 10, and it's easier than you might think. But first, why would you even want to do this? There are actually more than a few different use cases for playing the same or different audio streams through two or more different playback devices at the same time. For example, you're a DJ and want to monitor the music in your headphones that's playing over the loudspeakers. Maybe you want to play something on a TV hooked up to your computer for someone else, but also want to keep using the computer and maybe listen to music on your own headphones while you work. You could also play music over a Bluetooth speaker or speakers in another room, but also still use the computer with its own sound. There are probably more examples, and you can share them with us in the comments. So, how can we do this? Let's start with assigning apps to specific sound devices in Windows 10. This lets you assign specific applications to certain sound outputs. In this way, you can make one app play its sound through your headphones, while another plays through the speakers. This is also pretty easy. Here's how to do it. Right-click on the speaker icon in the notification area and then select Open Sound Settings. Select App Volume and Device Preferences. Next to each app you want to route, select the Output drop-down menu and choose the audio output you want to play that app's audio from. You should hear that application sound coming through the set of speakers you selected. You might need to stop and restart playback for this to take effect. Also, if you don't see the app you want to route in the list, you need to start audio playback on it first. For example, we had to start a YouTube video in Google Chrome before it appeared in the list. Once all your apps are properly assigned, you can close the window. If you want to undo all the routing, simply select the reset button to go back to default. So now you know how to get different apps to play audio through each set of speakers or headphones. But what if you wanted to have the exact same audio playing over your speakers and your headphones at the same time? This is the sort of setup that a sound engineer in the studio or a performer on stage might use to make sure that the stereo mix going out to the speakers is correct. This is also easy to do in Windows 10. Here's how. Right click on the speaker icon in the notification tray and then select sounds. Select the recording tab. Now look for something called stereo mix. Right click on it and select enable if it isn't already. Right click on stereo mix again and select properties. Then select the listen tab. Check the box marked listen to this device. Under the playback through this device dropdown, select your headphones. Now simply select OK. Now whatever is playing through your speakers will also play through your headphones. Just be aware that, depending on your hardware, there may be a slight delay between the two audio streams. Also, not every computer supports the stereo mix function. Everything we've mentioned so far involves some mildly technical messing about with software settings and devices. But if you just wanted a way to use both your speakers and headphones at the same time, playing exactly the same audio with 100% reliability and no messing around with software, the answer is super simple. All you need is a headphone splitter. Just take the headphone splitter and then plug a set of speakers into the one jack and a set of headphones into the other, instead of two pairs of headphones. When you want to use headphones, simply turn down the volume knob on your speakers. If your headphones have inline volume controls, you can do the same there. This is probably the easiest way to duplicate an audio experience. It's especially useful on a laptop that only has a single headphone output. And that's all you need to know to get full control over what plays through which speakers or headphones on your computer. See you next time.